All right, it's been a while since it's been an update, like a real long while, like literally a couple years, I think. But I was going through making a checklist and checking off what I have for uh, where I left off on my videos, which was Power of the Jedi. So here's episode two, which is a saga collection. But you can see the first 16 figures, it's kind of hard to tell, but they have, I have one without and one with, like a background in there. Kind of see it curling up here on the side. Kind of makes a scene behind each figure. Um, you can get each of the 16 with or without them. I kept the ones that are with them. Um, not that it makes a big difference collectible wise, but we'll go through and see the first 16 figures here. We got a couple variations that I'll show you as well. I kind of like the Tuscan Raider with the child. It's kind of cool one. Bubble fit. I guess my battle droid doesn't have a background, but I think that's my Plo Koon. Here's one of the, probably the rarest of all of the uh, episode two figures as far as variants go. Is this uh, Jango fit here? You can see the normal one has a uh, painted visor on the helmet there, and then this error, which used to be worth quite a lot. Now I haven't, really, I haven't even looked, but. You can see the visor there is unpainted. Someone, <laughs> I must have looked at 300 of those on the shelves looking for one of those over the course of months to find it. R2, Genosian Warrior, and probably the heaviest, heaviest figure, Dexter. It's got to weigh two or three times as much as any other ones do from this series. Continuing on with the series, this is a. Uh, all these figures came out in 2002. They're numbered on the side, so I'm going to kind of show you real quick. So I have the character. There we go. So I have the uh, number and the character's name on the side there. They actually carried this numbering system through from 2002 all the way to 2004. Got a Rebel Trooper. This is when they start getting some of the uh, original trilogy and Phantom Menace characters in here. This Luke has like a dozen variants. Um, pretty much all of it's based on his hand. Um, so he has a detachable hand from Bespin. There's... You see there, so the little stump piece that the... Uh, attaches it back to the wrist. You can get that flesh-colored, non-painted, which is this one here. I think there's even a bloody variant. Uh, Vader from Bespin. Mace. Dooku. Luminari Unduli. Two clone troopers. I'm 95% sure one of those is a variant, but I can't remember what the variant was. Tom Wee. We'll skip that guy. <laughs> Sassy Tin. Yoda. Sam Wessel. Royal Guard. I kind of like this Royal Guard a lot. He's pretty cool. Nick Two. And Hangar Duel Anakin. And the last sweep of uh, Saga O2 series. Got another Jango Fett. It's the Slave 1 Pilot 1. That Pod Racer. Not even going to try to say his name. Obi Wan Pilot. You got a pretty cool clone trooper with a giant turret. You got a destroyer droid. Uh, Yoda with his Jedi Council chair. Old Watto. Dodd. This is probably the coolest uh, sand trooper. Comes with his massive, which was also one of those came with the Geonosian warrior. A really cool Darth Maul, Sith training, Padme. I think that dude's from uh, the Cantina Band, some or Cantina Band, <laughs> the uh, Moss Eisley Cantina. Got. Chewbacca with a bunch of C-3PO pieces. Horn Frita. Got a Ewok, Tebow, Ethkoth, and Rebel Trooper. And that does it for 2002 Star Wars Saga figures.